Hi friends, it's Peggy Noe from PrettyPaperCards.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I'm here with my little Yorkshire Terrier, Ellie. Um, it's so good to see you guys today. Let me check as I always do to make sure we're to make sure we're live. I'm going to check it over here on my phone this time because things are a little different now. Okay, good. I see that we are. That's excellent. Excellent. I see that we're working, we're going, and it's so good to see all of you today. Welcome, welcome. Happy Wednesday. Um, it's the middle of the week and we are just right in the middle of it, right in the middle of working and doing stuff. I'm right in the middle of all kinds of new catalog stuff. Hello, Roz. Good to see you. Good to see you. Ellie's trying to stay awake because I've got her little treat. Mary Ellen, good to see you. I've got a little, some little cookies in here for, for Miss Ellie, so I thought that might keep her a little bit more alert. There's another there we go. Marsha, good to see you. Good to see you. Were you on YouTube, Marsha? Yeah, the red writing is hard for me to read, but it's okay. I'm getting used to it. I'm getting used to it. Um, so good to see you guys. How is your month going? So it's the middle of April. Um, tax day is over. Marsha Fonte, good to see you. You know, here in uh, San Diego County, even though we did file our taxes already, but um, you didn't have to file your taxes until, gosh, I don't know, June or September or something because we had flooding here. And so the government, Colleen, good to see you. Cherie, good to see you. Um, Judy, good to see you. I think that says Judy Duncan. Yes, hi, Judy. So, um, yeah, we didn't have to file our tax, our income taxes until later this month. Cindy Howard, Good, I'm so glad you can watch live. Yeah, they gave us until September or something to file our taxes, but we went ahead and filed anyway. Oh, Mary Ellen, she's hooked on the cutest cows. You know, I didn't even get that. I usually just get one cutesy set, um, and I didn't get those, but I have seen a lot going on with them. They're very cute. Hi, Vicki. I'm so glad that you caught me live. That's great. I'm glad you did. Yeah, I'm trying to keep Ellie a little bit more alert um, today. So, um, we are talking about the new catalog, right? The brand new catalog. I hope everybody on here has your new catalog. If you don't, um, email me at Peggy at PrettyPaperCards.com and let me know that you need one and I'll get one to you right away. Trudy, good to see you. Cindy, you shared the video. Thank you so much. They like to see what others are making. We're gonna make um, actually four cards today. I've made one, we're gonna make four more. And I'm gonna show you. Marsha Fonte, 46th anniversary is Sunday. Oh, congratulations. You better get a card going, girl. Carol Schaefer from Connecticut, good to see you. Oh, you're welcome, Vicki. Cherie, you received your catalog yesterday. Good. You love the cover. I'm so glad. It is really, I'm really getting used to it. I mean, we're used to having um, stamping, pro, stamping up products on the cover, but this is relaxing. It makes me think that, as, well, it's very warm out here. Today, it's 80 degrees, you guys, on our patio. Very beautiful, clear sky, warm. And it, this, this catalog cover makes me think that I could just have a few gals over and put a cloth on a table and we could sit outside and stamp. And it really sounds pretty good, doesn't it? In fact, that's a good idea. I should do that. I should just do that just for fun. Have a few gals over just to copy. The, and then we could take a picture and make it look like the catalog. <laughs> Wouldn't that be fun? Yes, Roz, how is your husband doing? That's a very good question. How is he doing? So, I have some news for you. Um, 
some of you went to on stage like I did and got this wonderful color wheel and others who didn't go really wanted it. And guess what? Stampin' Up! heard us. We all said our customers want it. Margaret, good to see you. I think that says Margaret. Yeah, Margaret, good to see you. Um, our customers wanted it. The other demonstrators who didn't go to on stage wanted it. And so they are making a color wheel for everybody for customers and for other demonstrators, for everybody. It won't be out until the end of the year, they said, toward the end of the year, but they wanted us to know that the color wheel is coming out. So I'm so excited because I think it really helps. It really does help with making cards. I'm using it myself. I'm learning how to use it because it talks about, and it just like in the catalog, and I have to learn these things. Um, so I know monochromatic colors, and I, I know complementary colors. Roz, he's good. Finally went back to work Monday. Oh, good. You might have your life back. Good. I get that. My husband's retired. Those of you who have retired husbands, I have my craft room. That's my place. Um, but anyway, the Stampin' Up! in the, in the new catalog talks about monochromatic, um, complementary colors. Those two I knew. Ellie's going to get down. I think she's bored of the color wheel. But the things I need to learn are triadic and analogous. I need to learn those. I need to study it more. Those are two things I don't know. But this little deal on the front. Um, hi, Renee. Good to see you. This little thing on the front helps you to know what they are. I still haven't even figured that part out. <laughs> I might talk to some of my friends who know more. But anyway, it's a beautiful color wheel. It'll be coming out toward the end of the year. So we're excited about that. Um, last chance sale is still going on through April 30th. A lot of stuff, you guys, a lot of stuff has sold out. If you want something and it's still available, get it. Um, the basics, I've talked about this for several weeks, they're going up. The basics are all going up, um, 50 cents to a dollar to a dollar fifty, different ones on May 1st when the new catalog comes out. So if you want some uh, basic white paper, basic white envelopes, um, some of those things, grab them now before the prices go up. Um, Okay, here are some, these are two exciting things that I'm doing for you. Color Wheel will be a game changer. Mary Ellen, yes. I'm going to find someone to explain it, and I might have them come on to our one of, our, one of my lives because it, when we get it, um, because I think it's important to know that stuff, and I do want to know those other, those other two things. Okay, so because of the new catalog, you know stuff goes... There's a lot of stuff that comes out with the new catalog. Well, with the new catalog, I always do paper shares and ribbon shares. And so my shares are able to be reserved now. I have a link up above for Facebook, down below for YouTube. There should be a live link, if not copy it and paste it, you know, in your browser. And you can go, I have a form to fill out. I think I did it right, I hope I did. I have my computer guy help me fill you know complete the form you fill out a form to reserve your shares and um, let me just tell you a couple of things so the designer series paper share well in fact I could just go ahead and turn you down because then you could see these things because I'm just basically showing the um, from my blog and you might want a few more details so let me just um, turn you down and see if I can do it here Just hold a minute. It's still not doing it. Okay, well in any event, I'm gonna go ahead and do that so you can see what's down here. I'll figure the other one out in a minute. So the designer series paper shares, um, you can reserve now. I can't, by law, I can't take your, I can't have you pay until a week from today on the 24th. An explanation of the different combinations of the color wheel. Yes, it would be. It would be, Marsha. I totally agree. Um, 
So, paper shares, ribbon shares, and I want it all, which that's me. I want, I always want everything. Okay, I've just got to figure this thing out here. I don't know why it's so hard for me to get this one thing going. There we go. Okay, now we've got it. Thank you for your patience. Okay, the designer series paper shares, there are 13 papers, I believe. Let's take a look on the next page. There are 13 new designer series papers, and here I have them all listed out, and it includes the glimmer paper. And so you get a quarter of each package, so that's 138 sheet, six by six sheets for what I think is a really great, great price, $40 plus nine for shipping. Okay, and this is all on my blog in the link that, I, that I've got um, for you there. And then the ribbon shares, there are eight new ribbons, and you'll get a quarter of a bolt or a spool of ribbon, and you'll receive approximately 20 yards of these beautiful ribbons for $25. And then if you just get the ribbons, it's only four for shipping. But if you do, I want it all, which of course I always want it all. It's 65 plus nine for shipping. So reserve now because on the 24th, a week from today, I'm gonna to send out the links for you to pay. And I have to have um, all the money in by the 30th. Really the 29th would be the best. I may have put the 29th on some of the places because I really need to have it ready to go on the 1st. I'm gonna be in Cancun during that time. And so I'm taking my computer, we're all taking our computers, my laptop, of course, and um, yeah, I have to have your payment by April 30th. But you guys, the papers are beautiful, the ribbons are beautiful, you're gonna want these shares, and I know I had someone asking recently if I was gonna do the shares. So they're ready to go as far as the sign up, the reservation. Make your reservation so that a week from today I can send you that link, you can pay and have it all done by the 30th. So I'm ready to order on the 1st. And this is the little form you just um, put in your email and your name and whatnot. And then you finish it off on the 24th when I send you the links. So that is the, um, that is the design, the, the different shares. Okay, now I'm doing something new this year, you guys, that I have never done before. But the reason being that our in colors are so beautiful. I, I don't know when I've, I've loved the in colors. It's been quite a while since I have like loved them this much. I always like them, but these, I love these in colors. So I'm doing for the very first time ever what's called a new in color club. And this is also on my blog. All of this, I, I have a, a new little place called resources, a little tab on my blog at prettypapercards.com with resources. And it has all the details about the paper shares and it has all the details about the new in color club. And because the in colors are so beautiful, and I know you guys are gonna want them all, it is a bit to get all the papers, all the ribbons, all the inks, all the blends, all the stamp and write markers, all of that stuff at one time. So what an in color club is, every month for five months, you get everything of that one color. And it's gonna start in, uh, in May. So beginning in May, you'll get the first color. I haven't decided which one is gonna be first. You guys will have to tell me which one you want first. But um, the price of the In Color Club is $55 per month plus nine for shipping and you get a package. Okay, it's not an envelope. It is gonna be a package, you guys. And I'm gonna show you, I have, I brought all the things together of what you're gonna get in your In Color Club and I have it sitting right here because it is so cool. Look at all the stuff you get in your In Color Club for the month, including a card from me made with this color. So it may be Petunia Pop because that's what I have here. So you get a full package of card stock, um, 24 sheets, you get the In Color ink pad, 
you get the ink refill, okay? You get the Stampin' Blends combo pack. You get a Stampin' Write marker in that color. And you know what? Mine are on the way. I didn't even order them in the beginning. And then I decided I wanted them. So you get a Stampin' Write marker. So this is Berry Burst, but I thought it looked kind of the same. <laughs> you get a full entire spool of the ribbon of that color. Okay, it's beautiful. And you get... Um, one-fifth of a package of the in color designer series paper so you'll get eight sheets of that in color and you'll get four six by six sheets of that glimmer paper so you'll get all of this stuff each month you'll get one full colors worth of of all of this and you're gonna love it I mean, I already love it. I don't even have all of it. I, I'm, in fact, this is a Fresh Freesia ink refill. I don't have those and I don't have these. These are on the way. But you guys, these colors are so beautiful. You're going to totally want these. Otherwise, it's going to take you quite a while to get, to get these. And they last for two years. You know, I mean, as far as they last forever, but the colors are in colors for two years. So in five months, you'll have everything. And I just wanted to put in a little plug for Onstage. When I was at Onstage, when, when we were all at Onstage, if you went, we got pens, ink pens in every color. And they write that color. You guys, it is so much fun to have these. And I can't get these for you because they were only available at Onstage, but that's another good reason to go to Onstage. Now there's also a reservation form for the In Color Club. And go ahead and fill that out so I'm ready to um, also send you the link to sign up for the In Color Club a week from today and you'll be able to sign up. That is on my blog and there's a link above for Facebook and below for um, YouTube people. And I gotta have all the funds on the 30th. So definitely sign up for those. You're gonna love them. And just, just for fun, I thought I'd show you all the color inks all put together like this. Isn't that pretty? Let me see, get that one like that. Okay. Um, so what we're gonna do today for our project is we are going to make five cards, one in each in color, so that you can really get a good feel for the in colors. And here's the sample of what we're gonna make. We're gonna make a four by four thank you card using the Zinnia stamp set, and that's all it takes. It's everything in the Zinnia set, I think, is totally available. I just went on the, um, it is a great deal. Thank you, Marcia. Um, I just went on the inventory status report and I think everything, even the paper, I think for the zinnias was available, but definitely the stamp set and the die set, but we're going to make easy cards and truthfully, I'm making these because I need them. Melanie, good to see you from Yuma. How hot is it in Yuma today? It's 80 here, but I know Arizona is pretty warm. Melanie, oh, Vicki sent you over. Good. So what we're going to do is we're going to make five, we're going to make four to go with this one. This is the, the, this is Shy Shamrock. But I wanted to actually work with um, these colors, have you work with these colors, and just show you real quick how to make five thank you cards with this set. And it's fast. It's not even hard. And I'm also using um, square envelopes. Now, I have also done another new thing on my blog. I've been working on my blog. Um, under resources is an, a, a little a link called Amazon Favorites. And these are the square envelopes that I like. They're under Amazon Favorites. There's a link right there. You can go straight to Amazon and get these 4.5 four by 4.5 4 by 4 square cards. And this 4x4 four four card will fit right in it. Look at how perfectly that fits. So if you want these square... Oh, 90s in Yuma, so the air conditioning's on. I get it. I totally get it. I was wondering if we might have to turn on ours on today, but not so far. 
so this is what we're going to make. That's our sample. And really, you guys, it is so easy. And we all need thank you notes, right? We all need them. So let's start out. Let's just start out with pretty in pink. Okay, I've gone ahead and cut eight by four inch strips of the cardstock, or strips, pieces. And I've already scored it at four inches, so four by four is the finished size. Okay, then I've cut for each one a three and three quarter piece of basic white that's going to go right there, and a three by three piece of basic white which will go in the center. Okay, so let's go ahead and stamp this one. And I've got my large zinnia stamp. I've got my sentiment, my thank you sentiment. These are all in there. And then this cute little stamp that I used for the inside, I'll show you in a minute. So let's get out our pretty and pink ink. And this is so fun to get to use all of them. Anthony, good to see you. Did you see I posted a picture of my roses for you, for everybody the other day? Be sure to look, because I know you wanted to see a picture of my roses. Okay, good to see you, Anthony. So we're going to stamp this big one. Now, what we need to remember is this lower part of our stamp is not going to show, even though I'm going to ink it up. And so that's one reason I use the glass mat today, because I can just wipe off the ink, because I'm only going to stamp the top portion, okay? And actually, I should do it this way. This is the way to do these large stamps, is just like this, to get all the ink on them. You love the roses. You have rose envy. You're so cute. <laughs> okay. And so we're just going to stamp our roses right uh, our zinnias. We're working with zinnias right there. Look at that pretty and pink. Isn't that beautiful? Just gorgeous. And then we're going to stamp our thank you stamp, our sentiment. And one thing about it is it's pretty straight on the top, if you can see that. And so it's pretty easy to kind of, um, you know, work with because you, I'm going to put my head over to see if I can get it really straight. See, that's pretty straight, right? And that's it. Now you can put gems on and all kinds of things, but I'm not going to because I really want some simple thank you notes and I really want all five of these. Oh, Roz, you have yours blooming too. I love it when they bloom. And then here's that little tiny stamp that um, that I showed you that's in the set. I'm not quite sure about it, but it's kind of cute. And do you see the little rows of dots? So that's going to be our inside. And actually, maybe we could put um, we could put some some of the zinnias on the outside of the envelope too, couldn't we? Make sure I've got the front up. Okay, and we'll just we'll just put not too many. We'll just put it right over there. That's cute. That's cute. Okay, now I'm just going to wipe that off. That's the one good thing about using the glass mat. And then we're going to make the card. We're all done with the pretty and in pink ink, so we can set that to the side. And this is these are these are quick cards to make. I think you could make them in about a half an hour. I really do. Just about a half an hour. It wouldn't take long. And again, this piece that goes on the top here is three and three quarters by three and three quarters. And the one on the inside is three by three. So they're just, it's a snap. But I love, I love the simplicity. And we all need thank you notes. You love yellow and red roses blooming. You missed something. Where the rose? Where are the roses? Well, they're in my front yard, actually. But um, Renee, I posted them on my Facebook page. I might have posted them at the bottom on my blog. I'm not sure uh, one day, but they're on the Facebook page. Pretty paper cards. Okay, so there's our first card. And where was our? Where was my? I don't know what I did with my. Oh, here's my first one. Okay, this was the shy shamrock that I already did. So those are two. Okay, so let's go on to the next color. Now the one thing we have to do is we need to clean our stamps in between. And if you guys don't use this um, cleaner, you really must because the washing your stamps with water, especially 
these red rubber stamps, which I really like the best. Um, this um, Stampin' Mist that Stampin' Up! has conditions your stamps and this little cleaner with all these little scratchy pieces, you put it on the mist, clean, and then this other side is dry and it gets all the ink off so that when you do your next card, you're totally ready to go. And so since we're changing a lot of colors today, I wanted to make sure to have this out and we'll use it the whole time. So next time, next one, let's go with um, our peach pie. Peach pie, okay, it's scored at four inches. The cardstock is eight by four, it's scored at four. And I'm just going to burnish that so it lays down flat. And here's our outside piece and our inside piece and our envelope. Okay, so for our outside piece, we're going to get the peach pie ink. And we're going to go ahead and ink, ink it up. This stamp is fairly large and it takes an E block. Okay, an E block. Peach Pie, that's an easy name to remember. And while I've got this stamp out, I'm gonna go ahead and do the envelope. And we just need a little bit on the envelope, just like that, okay. And now we're gonna put our thank you stamp on. I mean, this would be a lovely gift, you guys. You could make a set like this and wrap it with a bow and it would be such a lovely gift especially for spring because these colors are quite springy i do have to say and there's that funny little does anyone know what that is actually that little i guess it's just decorative i don't know if it has an actual name okay here we go just a little bit of glue here Aren't these colors beautiful? I hope you're enjoying this because I thought it would be a, just a really good way to show you, really get some experience with these beautiful colors. And I'd love to know as we go through, which is your favorite? Tell me. At, um, at the onstage event for the Stampin' Up! Demonstrators, it was uh, Petunia Pop. But you know, everybody has a different color. I, of course, I like pretty in pink, of course. So there's our second one right there. And now let's make the second one we've made. So now we have to clean our stamps again in between each one so we can get a really clear, a really good um, image. We don't want it to be dirty. Let's do this, and I, I'm actually gonna spray again. I kinda like to just spray, then I know there's a lot of good stuff on there. Jan, good to see you, I'm glad you made it. How are you? Okay, so we've got that one cleaned, and clean this one, and we're gonna clean this one. If you were with me in my stamping room, on most days, you'd see me using that cleaner just like that. Okay, now we're gonna go with Summer Splash. And it's already pre-scored. And we're gonna go ahead and burnish that line. You could get in a real, a real routine with this, couldn't you? You really could. Okay, so we're gonna get our large piece, our small piece, and our envelope, and our ink, and we'll be ready to go. Summer Splash is a, is a popular one. Um, Anthony, you like Petunia Pop. Oh, Petula Clark is your favorite. Oh my gosh, she's from my era. Wow. Is that the same Petunia Clark, Petula Clark that you're talking about? The one from my time, from years ago? I remember her, Anthony. Cute, cute. I think you're a bit of a retro guy anyway. Okay. And then we'll stamp our envelope just a little bit in the corner, like that. 
Well, that didn't come out totally, but I don't think it's bad. I probably didn't get enough ink on it, but that's okay. And now we're going to get our thank you sentiment on there. It's, it's pretty easy to stamp that thing. Are you seeing my roots or anything when I go down there? <laughs> when I lean down, I'm always worried. Downtown. Do, 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 do. Yeah. My favorite is peach pie, Cindy. It is beautiful. Petunia and Summer Splash. Yes. I like, I like music. I really do like music, so... I'm with you, Anthony, on the music part. Okay, let's glue our, our piece on the front here. I think it'd be fun to do a music quiz. I, I would like to do a music quiz someday, just for fun. See, it gives a title and... It's, oh, Colleen likes uh, Petunia Pop. Is that the right name? Is that yeah, Petunia Pop? Um, hi, Holly. Good to see you. We're ha we're talking about we're kind of talking about songs a little bit, and Petula Clark from a hundred years ago about, and we're making in color ca thank you cards using the Zinnia stamp set. And they're quick to make. Okay, now look, you guys, we only have one more to go. Look at how pretty they are. Aren't those beautiful? And we only have the petunia pop to go. Okay, let's, so we need to go through the whole cleaning system again. Let's make sure our mat is cleaned. And you guys know with this that you have little raindrops down here in one corner, so that means you spray on the raindrop side. I think I might have enough spray on there by now. Let's check. Yep, you got it nice and clean. And then you dry over here because there's a little sun down here on the on that corner. I do love this stamp set. I agree. And love peach pie. Don't like purples, Marsha. Um, but you adore the petunia pop. It's kind of a, it's a beautiful color. It really is a beautiful color. Okay, so we've got these all clean now. We're ready to go on our very last one, the favorite of so many. Okay. And you know what? I think I dropped one of the one of the um, larger whites. Hold on. large piece, the small piece, and the envelope. Okay, so here comes the favorite Petunia Pop. Thank you, Kay. Okay, the favorite. Here we go. You know, I looked at some of my new sets, speaking of liking the Zinnia set, Simply Zinnia, it's called, and I thought, you know, I, I still want to I still want to use the Zinnia set today, so I did. Plus, it has a nice thank, thank you um, sentiment. Look at how it came out there, nice and rich. Wow, that is beautiful. Okay, now we're gonna do our envelope. Just a couple of flowers on the envelope. That came out beautiful. Okay, and now we're going to go with our thank you. So let me get up in there. See how easy that is? That one, you know, I love it when stamps are easy. I really do. Okay, let's see. I got a little bit of ink over here. And there are the little dots. Okay, we'll glue these. And this is going to be our last one. And we're going to have a beautiful set to send. Some of you might even get one. <laughs> Anthony, all you have is downtown. 
It does look pretty without coloring, Holly. It really, it's because this stamp set is just gorgeous. And you, the colors are gorgeous and you add it to the cardstock. I think that's what makes a big difference. Um, and you know, sometimes less is more. I do, I'm a big layer person, you guys know that. But sometimes less is more. I'm just gonna put this on. I would give this set as a prize, but you know, truthfully, I need it. I do. I need it to send to people. And I might actually make another one to, um, that wasn't burnished enough. I, I might make another set. I really might um, to give us a gift because it's so beautiful. Look at this. Oh my goodness sakes. Look how pretty this is, you guys. Can you see them all? Aren't they beautiful? Wouldn't anybody just love this set? Do you have? Do most of you have the Zinnia set? If you don't, look at that. All you need is the stamp set. It is so pretty. Now the other sentiments on here are sending flowers and thinking of you. That's really nice. That's really nice. And words fail to express my gratitude. It's a beautiful set, and I actually, truthfully, haven't even used that big one. I need to because it has a beautiful die. It has beautiful dies. I haven't even played with the dies. I've had so much going on. So there we go. There's our set. Here are our envelopes. Let's see, and here's our stamp set. Oh gosh, what a fun, fun set. Okay, let me try to come up. There we are. I'm back. Good to see you guys. Yes, put down prize because I'm going to give out a prize. It's hot here, 80 degrees, and I have these I have these extra lights on me right now. Um, okay, let's give away a prize. Postage is still extra for square envelopes. I do think it's um, you have the you have the zinnias, Marsha. Good. Um, Roz, you don't have them. Or you did get them. You thought you didn't need any more, but you did get them. Yeah. Yeah, I know. We always think that, but then the flowers are so beautiful. Whew, just hot here. So, our pro yes, I think it takes two stamps. I, I don't know if I said that, Marsha. I do think the square ones take two stamps, but you know what? They're worth it. Don't you think they're worth it? 80. Oh, <laughs> 80 is too hot for you. <laughs> I thought you were saying 80 cents. <laughs> okay, so this was our prize from last week, the beautiful opaque faceted gems that were part of celebration, and I had, I think this is the, the only one I had left over. Thank you, Cindy. Um, you got them the day they got, came out, Roz. Okay, I didn't, because I thought the same thing. I don't need them. And then I, my friend, Dr. Robin, got them and got the Zinnia set. And I'm like, I have to get it. She's like, you can borrow mine. I said, I need it for myself. We always think we're going to share, Robin and I, because we, um, we're we good friends and we are both demos and work together. But um, they take a hand cancel stamp in the States. Okay. Okay. Um, so here's the prize from last week. And the person who won is one of my YouTube gals, Karen Kozleski. Karen, congratulations. Thank you so much for watching me over on YouTube. And I don't have your address. So I'm going to, um, tag you over there on YouTube and because I need you to email me at Peggy at prettypapercards.com so that I can send these to you. Hello, Lori Gibson from Michigan. Oh, you're just getting in at the tail end, Lori. You'll have to watch from the beginning. We made some pretty cards. Um, so yes, Karen, thank you for watching. I so appreciate it. And for next week, I'm actually giving kind of a large gift. I'm giving something that's retiring. I don't even know if it's still available, but you guys, I have a full package left of the lighter than air six by six designer series paper. And so I thought I would give it to you guys as a gift. So this is, if you put the word prize, any time from now until the 7th, today is the 17th, the 24th at about, you know, like 1 o'clock 
Pacific time, my time, um, you'll be entered to win this whole package of lighter than air paper. And I have really loved this paper. Oh, good. You just messaged her. Thank you so much. That's excellent. I'm so glad. Um, so this is the prize for next week. So be sure you put the word prize anywhere here or over on Facebook in the Facebook comments down below the, the Facebook um, video or over to the right on the chat part. I'm picking them all up. So I'd love to give this to someone next week. And thank you so much, you guys, for stopping by. Please don't forget my new In Color Club and the paper and ribbon shares. And I got it all. You've got to get it all. Um, oh, thank you. Yes, give me a thumbs up. That would be great. And be sure you subscribe to my YouTube page, too. Um, I'd love to get my, my total of watchers. I know there are people that watch but may not subscribe, so I would really appreciate that. Have a great rest of your week.